First things first, let's find some reference photos of house concept art. This will give us a good idea of what we want to create. Now that we're in the Blender interface, instead of deleting the default cube, let's keep it for scale reference. Search for a human body on Blender Kit and append it to our scene. We'll start modeling the basic shape of the house. I want to make a two-story, street-shaped house. To ensure accuracy, let's add a camera. After adding the camera, adjust it as needed and start modeling again. Select the top two faces of the house and duplicate them, then scale them. Add some edges and extrude them along the z-axis. Cut half of the roof and add a mirror modifier to make the process easier for your PC. Model some additional details to give the house character. For the roof siding, model a single part of the roof. First, give it a solidify modifier, then an array modifier to create the full roof. You can also add doors and windows from ArcMesh, but I prefer to create my own. Create some doors and windows and add a bevel modifier to make them look realistic, as sharp edges don't look real. Now let's add some details. I'll create some cracked and broken wood pieces, hanging wood, and add a pole. Add a plane and scale it up to serve as the ground. This will be the base for our entire house structure. Let's talk about lighting. It's super easy to set up. First, click on the World Properties tab and add a sky texture. It might look too bright, so head over to the Render Settings, scroll down to find the Contrast Settings, and lower the exposure. Next, rotate the sun to achieve a realistic sun position. And you're done with the basic lighting setup. Now, use free objects from Blender Kit and add them one by one. We need a wall to hide the background. Add a cube. Scale it to your desired length and position it. To make the ground look good, add a displace modifier and lower the strength. In the material properties, select the cloud texture and adjust it as needed. Don't forget to add rocks and trees on the ground for more realism. Search Google for cloud images and download one. Press Shift plus A. Add an image as a plane, select the image, scale it, and position it behind the house. Textures. For materials and textures, simply select an object, search for the material, and apply it. If it doesn't look right, go to Edit Mode, press A, then U, and choose Q Projection, or Smart UV Project, for automatic texture adjustment. Also, I like to add ambient occlusion is crucial for a realistic look. To add it, select the material, go to shader mode, and add an ambient occlusion node. Connect it to a color ramp node, then to a mix shader node. Connect the principal BSDF to shader 1, and the mix shader to the surface. Adjust the scale by scrolling the colors. Apply the same steps to all materials, adding extra details. To add grass, use the GScatter tool. Select the plane, scatter the grass, and add additional objects. Background and fog. To add a fog, add a cube. Click on New. Delete the principal BSDF and search for Volume Scatter to connect to the volume. Lower the density to your liking. And that's it! learned something new? Let me know in the comments so I can create more tutorials for you. Thanks for watching.